the subtopic's name is what are decimals and we're also going to learn about the place value in decimals so let's start first you learn about what are decimals a fraction in which the denominator is 10 100 or 1000 is called a decimal fraction one example is 1 by 10 3 by 100 or 45 by 1000 as we can see here in this diagram we can see that there are 10 blocks or cubes you can also say which which uh, come together to create a line and that makes 10 cubes and then we have one shaded cube that is 1 by 10 so you are going to learn about the decimal fraction in this the decimal form in this and it will how it really joined us in this one more picture and one more picture so the decimal fraction in this is 1 by 10 or 1 10 you can also call it it is the this decimal form is 0.1 and it is read as 0.1 okay now let's go to the next one as you can see here we have 100 cubes or 100 blocks that form uh, that come together to form 10 lines which make 100 one uh, 10 cubes in one line is called 1 by 10 which is 10 1 1 by 10 because there are 10 goals like there are 10 lines like that but if we take one out of the whole hundred then we get one by hundred so the decimal fraction is one by hundred or we can also call it one hundred and this one form is 0 0.01 and we read it as 0 0.01 now the last one now we have the 1000 part the 1000 part the decimal fraction will be 1000 or 1000 the decimal form will be 0 0.001 and it is read as 0 0.001 now let's take a random number like this 23.4 we have three arrows denoting three things the first arrow will denote the whole number part which is 23 then we have a decimal point the second arrow denotes the decimal point and the third arrow denotes the decimal part, which is 4. Now, let us learn about the decimal place value chart. As you can see here, there is a place value chart with using the decimals. So the place we have is what, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, decimal point, tens, hundreds, and then thousands. The place value is 1,100. 10, 1, then we have a decimal point, then 1 by 10, 1 by 100, and 1 by 1000. So let's take 3.25. So 3 will be in the 1, and then we have a decimal point, and then 2 will be in the 10th place, and 5 will be in the 100th place. Let's take 145.106. 1, the first one, which will be in 100th place, the second, uh, the fourth, will be in 10th place the 5 will be in 1's place and then we have the decimal point the the second one is will be in 10th place then the 0 will be in the 100th place and the thou, six, thou, 6 will be in the 1000th place now let's take the third and final example 24.079 2 will be in the 10th place Four will be in the one place. The decimal point will be in the decimal point. Then we have the zero, which will be in the tenth place. Then we have the seven, which will be in the hundredth place, and nine, which will be in the thousandth place. Three, one, four, five, and two, four are the whole numbers, which is always ten times greater. Then we get the decimal point, and then we have the decimal parts, which is always ten times smaller now let's take the place value chart with period so first here you can see here there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this, we only know that this is the whole numbers part so 1 2 3 is in the millionth period 4 5 
five sixes in the thousands period and seven eight nines in the ones period. But now we will take from Z. We will take this, which is in the decimal part, which is always ten times smaller. Zero is in the ones period when we are in decimal point. One to three is in the thousands period. Four five six is in the millions period, and seven eight nine is in the hundred millions period. The uh, tens, tens, and hundreds are there, but it is not mentioned in this diagram. Now, finally, we'll also continue learning all the decimal place value chart. As you can see here, we have hundred cubes again. In those. There are three lines which are shaded, and then fourth line only two are shaded, which is 32. So we can tell that the shaded part is equal to 32 by 100, or 0 0.32. And now we are calculating what is the unshaded part. So what is we can uh, do it two ways. So what is first way is what is 100 minus 32, which is equal to 68. So the unshaded part will be equal to 68. Or we can also do another way that we can count that how many lines are unshaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 6 lines are unshaded. And then when from the 7th line, we are to subtract 2 from 10, which you get 8. So the unshaded part is 68 by 100 or 0 0.68. Now let's take the second example. In this, we can see that there is only two lines which are shaded. So the shade part will be equal to 20 by 100 or 0 0.20. Now we can calculate the unshaded part, which is 100 minus 20, 80. Now we can also calculate that there are how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are, which is 8 into 10. Equal to 80. So the unshaded part is equal to 80 by 100 or 0 0.80. So this is one thing that we very have to remember. One tenth is equal to 10 hundredth and one hundredth is equal to 10,000. So what did we learn today? We learned what are decimals. We learned a decimal place value chart with digits. We learned about many place value charts and we learned about place value with decimals. So if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and hit on the notification bell to get more notifications when I post more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.